Toshiyuki Kuzakihara. These are both great. Rajat and Noir, some some Tharja. Not Tharja alts, but you know what I mean. Similar, similar ones. Really like Noir's artwork. That's great. Rajat looks great. No complaints. No complaints. Good at power creeping, I'll say. Toshiyuki got that power creep. Toku Kusugi. I like about half of these. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Sarah. It's not my favorite style. Jafar is a little simplistic, little cartoony, I'd say, but um, it does kind of fit to a degree. He just doesn't look as, like, bad as he looked in the original in uh, Fire Emblem 7. I remember so many people that, even if they didn't like Fire Emblem, they liked this character because of how cool he was and edgy he looked. He just doesn't look that cool here. Soth is fine. They got the Radiant Dawn belly shirt going. It's fine. His, maybe his face is a little... Henry's fine. Setsune is fine. I like her Fates artwork better. Lack. Somebody said something about Lack, that Lack always does something in particular too. But yeah, so here's this this Camilla. I'm gonna be honest. I kinda hate this Camilla. I kinda do. She needs more chin. What, what happened there? Her arms are too thin. She's like anorexic. Just, oh god, there's so many. Later on, look up IDC SAO's video because he like fixes it. And now that I've seen it that way, I like never want to see it this way again. I don't want to get banned, but I would honestly, if I, um... You probably have to root your device. If I rooted my phone, I would actually consider going in and replacing this artwork with the one that he, that IDC SAO made of this. Swear to God, because it looks like a correct Camilla. This one I don't like. Sorry. Noe's great though. I like Noe. That artwork is, is nice. Saizo's fine. I really like the original Kagero. Nothing wrong here. Baruch is fine. Kaze's a little like feminine looking, I would say. I don't know. I don't... This one's not my favorite, but the colors are very nice. Shigeki Maeshima. This is quickly becoming one of my favorites, I'll say. Because there's really not a bad one here for me. Levitane. You already know I like Levitane a lot. It's probably one of my favorite characters right now. This artwork's beautiful. I love it. Love the character, love the art. There's nothing better when you have a combination of, like, amazing art, amazing character. That, like, lands, like, top spots for me. Um, Leg Yarn I like. All these guys look good. Creed looks good. Ilgear, Gunthra, I really like. I like the original Camilla artwork. Great, no complaints. Spring Camilla, I even like. She does look a little, um... Her, like, skin color looks a little weird to me. Almost like she's, like, wearing something, but she's not. So, that's that's my um, critique of that one. But I do like that artwork, though. Surtur's fine, as much as everybody hates Surtur. Xander's fine. It's probably my least favorite one, but it's still good. I like it. Bjorn's great. And uh, Loki, of course. Nothing wrong with Loki. That's one of my favorites. That's That's got to be probably top two or top three for me. Shigeki Mayashima. Here's a good one. My Pon Pon. So she looks a little different than Awakening Lucina. Marth here uh, looks good. Corin, I hate his hair. I just hate his hair. Can't, st I don't, like, what? They made him look a lot better in, like, Smash Ultimate. Stuff like that. And uh, Smash 4. He looks better in stuff like that. I don't like this hair. Nothing wrong with the art, really. Just don't like how they, it's got, like, a weird, like, two-tailed mullet thing going on. This is a little bit better for me, but still don't love it. This one is a uh, hotly debated one as well. Subasa Masao with Gwen. With very thin, skinny Armor Knight Gwen. With uh, kind of ridiculous proportions here. I don't hate this one. I gotta be honest with you. There's definitely some weird stuff going on with proportions, like I said. Um, fr from place to place, her waist is like way too thin and stuff like that. But I really don't have a problem with it. I don't know why. It doesn't bother me that bad compared to some of the other stuff that I've talked about in the past little while here. I could see why people would hate it. Mayo. I do like probably most of these. I don't like this Marth, if I'm being honest. His face is very pink. Like He's like doughy and like, yeah, I don't know. That's a Marth redesign I don't want. This is relationship Marth. Like four or five maybe years into the relationship, you know, he's marrying Sheeta, but he's kind of chunkier and overweight and doughy. Yeah, I don't like that Marth. I want Battlefield Marth. George is great. I think he looks good in this game. Nothing wrong with that. Female Summer Robin. Nothing wrong with that. I like Bride Cordelia. Definitely a lot better than normal Cordelia, I will say. Her outfit's cute and stuff, but uh, I don't know. She's fine. She's fine. Sometimes I'm too nitpicky. Stalin and Sully, I probably just hate seeing because I pull them all the time. But they're, they're about right, too. Mecha, but not the fireable Mecha. This Mecha. Once again, he kind of suffers from the leaf thing I was talking about earlier. His face is kind of fat. <laughs> he didn't... And it's, it's a little, he's a little too anime for me, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and not in the good way, though. He doesn't really look like he should, probably. The, everything else is fine. I love the colors and everything. It's his face that bothers me on that one. Once again, no hate. Just um, giving my honest opinion on some of these. Jerome, I think, looks great. No qualms about Jerome. Silas is fine. Nothing wrong with Silas. 
I don't love it. I don't hate it. His face is kind of generic, kind of like Ike. A little bit of same face syndrome going on there for me. And Linus? Linus looks like a meerkat to me. And I don't really like that, if I'm being honest. Doesn't he? He looks like freaking Timon from The Lion King or something. Like, I just can't. I see it every time, and it really bothers me. Everything else, great. Maybe his nose is just too big or something. I don't know what it is. Half good, half eh. Mendako, I think um, a lot of people don't like this one. I think it does kind of work for Arthur as a character because he is kind of cartoony. He's kind of your almost like a superhero Fire Emblem character if there ever was one. Like a Captain America, but of Fire Emblem Fates, you know? I would like to see an Arthur alt with somebody else doing it, like Hakan or something like that. Because um, I think they would do... Or maybe even like um, Ipe, who we didn't get to yet. That would be funny. That might be gross, but it'd be funny. I would definitely like to see another, but I don't hate this one. I think I mostly just don't like it because I'm tired of pulling Arthurs. It's a little clashy with the rest of the stuff with how thick the outlines are, but um, aesthetically I don't hate it. Mikuro, here's another good one. I'll be real though. Let's, uh, let's start off right off with the negative though. I really don't like this Camilla. This, this artwork is fine. I'll just have to look it up because I'm sure you guys will be wondering. I really don't like her like attack artwork. This, this her artwork is fine too. That one's fine. It's this other pose, this weirdness here. Like her face, she looks like an animal or something. Something bothers me about this. I think it's her nose and her mouth. Part of me likes to pretend that this Camilla doesn't exist though too. Because we just didn't need another one. Summer Camilla. I really like the base artwork. Her attack pose is not my favorite. I like that they hearkened back to some of the Fates DLC artwork. So I like that. I really like the New Year Camilla. I think she looks great. That's a good Camilla. Some good Camilla there. <laughs> Nina. I like Nina too. Nina looks good. I like this um, Summer Elite. So that looks perfect. Like, can't get any better than that, really. Can't expect any better. Hot Springs Elise, a little boring to me. Par for the course. That's This is probably another one of my favorites. Probably like top four or something like that for me. Sakura Miwabe. Kana, I think, is really good. I like this Kana artwork. That's cute. The colors are great. Deltia looks good. Probably maybe a little too, like, anime child with her face, I would say. People were sad with Kalakisis because she looks so young. This person does tend to kind of youngify. De-age, maybe, some of the characters. S is a little cartoony, but um, I don't hate it. Mist looks good. Eventually, I'll probably get that Adrift Camilla, and maybe I'll feel better about it. But she looks like a, an animal or something in that attack pose. And in battle, like when you're playing with the actual unit, that's the pose that you see. And I don't like that one. I don't know. Haru Miyajima does some definitely really pretty stuff at times. I do like Leon. It's a little dark in some places, which makes sense for um, Gaiden and Echoes. Leon, I think, it's like near perfect. Like, I like it. But um, his, once again, th like this is fine. His attack sprite, I don't like. His pose is very stiff, not my favorite. So some tweaks I would have made there. Soren, I've never, I'll be honest, if you love Soren, that's totally great, here's my honest opinion. I've just never really liked Soren's design, so that one doesn't do much for me. Nothing wrong with it, but yeah. Libra, kind of makes sense he did Libra too. Nothing wrong with Libra, not bad, I like those. Me, you, here we go. We're getting into the real stuff now. We're almost through this list. I know it's taking forever. Because I'm actually like looking at each one. Miyu is definitely a very hotly debated one. And one that people have uh, fixed several times over, let's just say. So when I click on this and I look at Athena, I don't mind it. I think her eyes are definitely too big. I mean, let's be honest. That's the biggest problem with this artwork. But I don't have a problem with the kind of colored pencil look. I think she looks great aside from that. I think it's beautiful aside from that. I just think, you know, that art director or somebody should have been like, just go a little easier on the eyes next time. <laughs> And we haven't seen anything since then from uh, Miyu here. So um, we do see another. Hopefully they'll uh, they'll keep that in mind. Because I think Elowood is probably the biggest shame here. Elowood looks like an anime protagonist out of like a really bad anime or something like that. You know, his his outfit doesn't look like a typical Elowood outfit either. But I'm kind of okay with it. And it's kind of cool looking. I like his leg armor too. I love the way this hand looks. Like there's some parts of this that look really great. But the, the eyes do. Tone it back on the eyes. And, and you got some good art there. Kana Mizuno only did Merrick, I'll be honest. I think he looks boring. I miss the Merrick of Shadow Dragon. It's not awful. I just don't like it. It just looks like pasta hair or something. I don't, like, from far away, I don't know. I keep saying that I know, but, like, there's really nothing wrong with any of these pieces of art. They're still all beautiful, but, um, you know, preference. Nabe or Nabe. We got Legion here. Legion looks good. Don't have a problem with Legion. Okaya. Um, these are kind of hit and miss for me, if I'm being honest. I think, um... This Summer Tiki is probably my favorite. I just think it looks the best out of all of those. Bartre, I guess he's fine. I just hate looking at him because I've pulled him so many times. His nose is a little weird. So there was a post on Reddit. Let me see if I can whip it up really quickly. So this post says, End Heroes Bink Shrinkage, 
justice for big noses. And if you actually take a look, they have a really good point here that they're kind of pointing. I'll be honest, this Nesala, that doesn't look like Nesala to me. Like in some weird twisted way, I feel like it looks more like I do than it does Nesala. And that's like wrong. His, his, yeah, they messed up his, I mean, it's not messed up. It's fine, but um, he has more of a nose in the game. That was always more profound. And I feel like his face was always thinner. Not quite as like wide like mine is. Even Seth had a thinner face and they kind of widened his face too. Bartre, he, you are kind of getting an upshot here of his nose. Um, so that doesn't help, but man, he had a honker before, and they kind of, he's kind of a little bit of Michael Jackson nose right there. Ipe, I think, I think this Dorcas nose is fine. Um, maybe it was like more cartoony bulbousy before. Legault, though, man. Yeah, that nose would have, this artwork is, is beautiful of Legault. That nose would have taken him a lot farther, I think. Yeah, most of these are just kind of a little too plain for me. Could use a little extra. I think Matilda was kind of a missed opportunity because she looks really great in Echoes, but, um, I don't love this one. It's not bad or anything, it's just kind of... Not my favorite. Yugo Okuma. This one isn't my favorite either, but I don't hate it. That face is just so weird. I mean, it's creepy. You got the creepy factor. I love the hand here. But uh, ultimately, I think as far as Grimas go, I think the female Grima has better artwork than this one. He got power crept. Pentacore has a thing some people don't like that he doesn't like noses. The same as um, one of the previous artists before. Um, let's start with the best here. Once again, yeah, the no nose on Legault. I don't like that. Aside from that, I'm okay with that artwork. Um, Summer Xander's okay. Yeah, his, his face is a little strange to me. Aversa, I love. Could not have come out better in Heroes. That's another reason why I really like Aversa, though. Once again, though, he is kind of scared of the noses. But great, great Aversa artwork right there. Perfecto. Some people don't like the fact that Nyla doesn't really have a nose. Um, so to some degree, maybe that looks creepy to you. Sometimes it doesn't bother me. Aside from that, though, really good artwork there. Eldigan, I really like, even with the genealogy mullet. Really like Eldigan. Even his attack... Oh, his attack artwork looks so good and his hurt artwork. Really like that. Dancing Xander is just kind of meh to me. I don't know. It's like missing something. Xander's face. For some reason, everybody so far in Heroes who has tried to do Xander's face hasn't quite done it as much justice as it was done in Fates, I'll say. In my opinion. Ares. Nothing wrong with Ares. Maybe his nose is a little weird. Maybe that's why Pentacore runs from noses. Saver looks like... He's almost there. He's almost there. Once again, it's a face thing, though. He looks like... He's about to lick a snot that is like, you know when your nose is very runny? It looks like he's about to like lick his like nose or something to like wipe it. His mouth is just so like, I, I, I don't know. I don't like that about it. That's what I think. Sorry for ruining that one forever for you, but um, that's my opinion on Saber. Walter is okay. I don't think he was the wrong artist to do Walter or anything, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's just not my favorite. A little, it just needs a little bit something more. A lot of these are like that for me. But I'm very picky, because I'm an artist myself. And um, like I said, usually I don't even love the things I do. So, Pikamaru. I really like this Charlotte. Where is normal Charlotte? Put her in the game, please. Uh, I know everybody will be mad about another Fates banner, but next time we do go around the circle and we do get Fates again, Charlotte, please. Um, Sumia, I love the colors of this artwork. It's cute. It's cute, yeah. I'll say, I'll say I like that. Then, of course, we have Crack Lloyd here. If there was ever somebody to whose artwork to fix, I'd hope it'd be this poor guy. And I've seen some tweaks that are just minor that really go a long way. Didn't they call him handsome? He was like the handsome white wolf or something in Fire Emblem 7. The days really caught up to him. He uh, had a failing music career. Now he's hooked on drugs or something. Riss is fine. A little, little creepy looking, but I think it kind of works as far as memes go. Sachi, who did Julius. We're almost there, guys. Nothing wrong with Julius. I like it. It's fine. Not my favorite, but it's, it's good. No complaints. Suise Sasashima. We got Abel here. Leaves a little to be desired in my opinion. I do find there's some cool, like, interesting colors happening in here. But his face is, like, really kind of generic, if I'm being honest. So he's had some better days. Um, Sada did Sigurd. I love this Sigurd. This is this is some great Sigurd right here. This this is... Love that Sigurd. Selif. Um, Selif's fine. Nothing wrong with Selif. I like Sigurd better. So. Sencha. I like Sencha. Sencha's up there for me. Definitely top five. Um... This look, just looks beautiful. He does like this interesting effect to hair. Has like a little purpley haze to it, very um, dark looking. Uh, I know I'm saying that about Darge's dark hair, but um, you can kind of see it too on the summer corn. I don't know, there's a, there's a cool effect there going on. Some cool colors in there. I really like these, no complaints here. And even the new corn. As much as I hate the Adrift banner, that's beautiful. Okay, let's get some more by Sencha, please. Okay, Koji Seo, Loot, classic Fire Emblem 8. I like this art, beautiful pattern here. It goes, it fits. Shioe Man. With Tail to You. 
I like this one. She's probably she's a little too anime happy and excited. But um, aside from that, I do like this one as well. Then we have um, the man, the myth, the legend, Ipe Soeda with um, God Tier Arden. Just just perfect. Just absolutely perfect. So per People were so mad when this Arden came out because his face is so creepy. <laughs> I love it. I love Arden. Ardenmingle.com. Gotta plug it. Arden's amazing. Dorcas I'm fine with. Dorcas looks good. Ipe has a, a grittier, more realistic style that some people don't seem to like, but um, I like it. Garen looks great. Very creepy looking, but um, it works. No complaints. Walhart looks good. Walhart looks great. This Halloween Dorcas I wasn't too much of a fan of. Like, he does look good, but his costume's kind of uninspired. I don't know. The costumes this year I wasn't too stoked on, to be honest with you. Ayaka Suda with Lewin, Guiding Breeze. Really like all his little details here and there of his outfits. Yeah, this one's great. His hero sprite I actually like a lot less than this. And Naysala's not loading here for some reason, but once again, I think if Naysala had the pointy nose and a slightly thinner face, um, would have went a long way. Here's another one of my favorites, probably. Uh, Kumiko Suikane. You got Camus here. Um, I do like this Camus. He does look a little shaggy. Like uh, another popular meme right now. His hair's a little shaggy to me. He looks a little, uh, what is it, like early to mid 2000s people started growing all their hair out a little bit started doing like the Justin Bieber cut he doesn't have the Justin Bieber cut but um he use a haircut a little bit and canvas kind of always had that but it's like really messy here I don't know it's I like it nothing wrong with it but um yeah. so um Ishtar 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 beautiful her attack artwork could probably be a little bit better but I love that when um in her special artwork like the colors are all like faded from like the lightning strike I love that, um, but this this is perfect. Like I couldn't have ever, in my wildest dreams, imagined a better Ishtar artwork for heroes. I love it. Owain looks a little. His face reminds me of somebody. Yeah, I don't know. Not my favorite. Summer Frederick, normal Frederick. These are okay. Inigo's fine. The Springs Anders fine. Laszlo, I think, is a little. His face is a little too simple for me. I like the uh, Fates artwork better. Then we have Odin. He's okay. Kind of goofy looking. The uh, Jam Key. He looks fine. I know that he looks remotely like he's supposed to. And then this Hector. I think I actually do like this Hector. All right, I do, but his nose is a little... I like the colors, though. Beautiful, beautiful colors here. Masafumi Takagi with Claire. Somebody asked about Claire earlier. Um, I don't love this one. As far as cartoony goes, I think it's kind of fine. It needs something for me to be desired. I do like Perry's, though. Credible unit, credible character, incredible artwork. There you go. So that's going to trigger somebody. Taita, Taita with Arbus. I like this Arbus. Once again, nothing really wrong with it. Just not my favorite. I think he looks about right. Sias. Sias looks pretty good. And Innes. I think this Innes looks really good, doesn't he? Yeah, this is a good artist. I like this artist. Toby. Okay, so Toby's a little bit hit and miss for me. Um, there's some that I do really like. All right, maybe there's less that I really like. The colors are really beautiful. I really appreciate the art style. It's just, for some reason, I don't usually love... Klein looks fine, although I feel like he did kind of look a little bit better in um, Binding Blade, if I'm being honest. Clive has seen better days. He's okay. His head looks a little small compared to his kind of thick body. He's got like a dad bod going on. I'm a little bit there. Cliff, I think, is probably one of the best ones of Toby that we've gotten. Although, I think his hair's a little, a little weird. A little helmet-headed. I know Cliff's hair is kind of like that to begin with. But um, Kanas, I've said it a couple times. said it last stream, too, I think. Um, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I just think he looked a lot cooler in... Uh, Fire Emblem 7. Morgan annoys me. I hate pulling him. His artwork's fine, though. Summer Leo, it's it's okay. Beauti very be beautiful colors here. Like, I like some of the stuff that he does. It's just usually, like, the character interpretation isn't always quite up to par for me. Not my favorite. Jiro Tomioka. These are fine. I like these, although people have pointed out the huge forehead Sanaki thing, which once you see, you can't really unsee anything. And this Lucina is okay. Not bad. Yumehito Ueda. These leave a lot to be desired for me. I agree with the Cordelia one where she's kind of like anorexic looking. Her face doesn't look quite right. Um, unfortunately, Cordelia has had a lot of potential. I never really liked Hinata, not even in Fates, to be honest. So that one doesn't bother me so much. It makes it easier to fodder him for, for Fury. Obero, I think, could have done... Yeah, could, she deserved a bit better. And this Robin's definitely not my favorite Robin, but she's okay. Geso Umiyu. We got uh, Lissa and Ophelia. Both of these, I think, are really well done. This is my favorite Lissa by far. Uh, very, very beautiful there. And um, Ophelia looks really good, too. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Sachiko Wada. Like Senrikita, there's some Sachiko Wada ones that I don't love that happened recently. 
Really like the Marth, really like the Barst. I think this this Roy is so beautiful. Like when you look at this Roy, it looks like it's straight out of like Blazing Sword, which it's supposed to because he's got Elowid's clothes on. I love that. I really love that. And I think Sachiko Wada did the original Blazing Sword artwork, if I'm not mistaken. So that's why it kind of looks like that. But even the colors and the overall vibe just like still very consistent with that. And I love it. Um, these lands are good. This F frame though, I don't like his face. Once again, it's the face. I don't know. It look, it's Ephraim, but he just looks weird. The um, new Titania is great, I think. Virion's kind of eh. Sherish is fine. This Hector, I don't know. For some reason, we've never gotten like a perfect Hector in my mind. As much as we don't need any more Hector alts. Or his armor is very boring, and he's all just like yellow and blue. And I don't really like that for some reason. His face is okay. This Titania, I think, she's fine, but um, yeah, she's fine. I really do like this interpretation of Marth, though, for heroes. Washimoto. Um, this is another one that some people don't like because of her forehead. They did the whole forehead thing where they take off her bangs and her forehead's like ridiculously big, you know. But I can't help it. I really like this Darja artwork. I, I like the fact that it's like way different than all of the other ones because it puts a special flair to this Darja that I just really like. And so um, perfectly fine with that one. Akihiro Yamada, also known as one of the very few, if not only people off the top of my head, that uh, did different artwork for his attack and special animations for his characters here. Also a very, I think it's like colored pencil if I'm not mistaken, this style. Very traditional style, probably an older illustrator if I'm not mistaken. I do, I think it works for a lot of these characters. In some cases I do kind of like, there's one of Gunter, I think it's his attack one where it kind of looks like he's pooping himself <laughs> when he goes to attack and I don't like that one. But for most of these, I do kind of tend to like them. Zephiel, I think, is probably one of the better examples. He looks old school, but in like a really good way for some reason. Like the colors on his um, cloak, especially here, look like it's been like like a restored old photograph or something. I like that. So he's not my favorite. I know there's a lot of people that don't like these, but um, I do like some of them. Kotaro Yamada. Funny story, actually. There was a point in one of my videos where I used a picture of Narshan. And I just grabbed one off of Google Images, and I didn't realize that it wasn't the real Narshan. It was somebody took his leg and uh, photoshopped out this this kind of upper leg gear here, and he just has a straight like bare leg right here. <laughs> Somebody pointed that out in one of my videos. I didn't even realize that. I just thought that was the artwork at the time. Yeah, I like most of these. Most of these are pretty good. I like this Lin. She got power crep to a degree, um, artwork wise, I'll say. I like the new Lucina here. This Krom has kind of, his nose a little too pointy for me, if I'm being honest. Krom doesn't seem like a pointy nose kind of guy. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's got that going on here. Aside from that, though, I do like that artwork. Yoneko with Duma. This one's definitely, like, interesting. It seems different, but uh, I don't have a problem with it at all. I think it's nice. Some weird colors here and there. I've got some purples peeking out in here. Interesting. Next up, my Yoneyama. Maie with the two Mias. A little cartoony, perhaps, but uh, I really do like the Halloween one, actually, a lot better, even. Yoshiku with the new Gunthra. I like this Gunthra a lot, actually. Very nice. Bride Sheeta. Not really any qualms here. She's cute looking. And then Lean, or some people say Lena, or Lene, or something like that, but um, I'd have to look at the original pronunciation. Not bad. Not bad. Yura is definitely another hit and miss one for me. I really like this Sonya, at least this default pose. Her hurt pose, I think, is kind of a little bit weird looking, I would say. Yeah, her, the other poses aren't quite as good. I really like this default pose, though. This is even, even with the broken back, ridiculous hourglass thing going on here. But I really like that. That's that's fine. The new Leanne and Raisin, they look great. Um, Shigure looks like he should. No complaints about Shigure. Tsubaki looks great. Niles, what's my opinion on Niles? It looks a little weird there. And I don't really necessarily love the Halloween one either. Better. Clarice, I think, leaves a little something to be desired for me. And Navarre looks a little girly. I know people have said that for a long time. I really like the outfit, though. I think that he did a great job here. I don't like this, whatever this little, like, ball thing is. Like, what is, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Overall, I like Yura. Zaza, I like this Selena. She's got a little bit of a uh, pouty child face going on here. But for the most part, I do actually like that artwork. I, like I said before, I do like the other Lissa artwork better, but this is just kind of normal and it's fine. Nothing wrong there. Florina, I just hate seeing her. Her artwork is pretty accurate. It's fine. Nothing wrong there. I just pull her way too much. Sophia leaves a lot to be desired because uh, I actually really do like her Binding Blade artwork. And um, I would have liked for her to be a more popular character in Heroes considering she's kind of hated for her um, growths and base stats in uh, Binding Blade. 
and of course you got the whole Sophia neck scandal thing going on here. So yeah, I, there's stuff that could be done to that one. And last up, we have Zis with this Tharja, who um, I actually did see some comments at one point in time from people that said that this does not look like Awakening Tharja. And they do have a point. In Awakening, she was kind of creepier looking, a little bit more like tomboy-esque. Probably a little bit more realistically like somebody cosplaying Tharja is what Awakening Tharja looked like. This is like a super power crept Tharja. She's a lot prettier looking, definitely enhanced, so to speak, if you catch my drift. But I really like this Tharja artwork. Can't, uh, can't deny it. So that one's, that one's up there for me. I'll just go quick run through again, just kind of point out my favorites here. Um, I like this Washimoto one. But I'll, I'll try to pick, as my ultimate favorite, I'll pick somebody that's done a lot. Because when they've only done one, it's not as easy to see. Kumiko Suikani, one of my upper ones, because of Ishtar, I'll say. Um, Ipe is great. But uh, top couple, I'll say Sensha. It's so tough, because some of my favorite ones are with other ones that I don't like quite as much. Mikuro is definitely up there. Top three, probably. And then definitely Shigeki Maeshima. Great stuff there. Toshiyuki Kuzakihara, that's great. Yusuke is fine. Oh, there's too many. Hakan is really good. My last pick might be Hakan, but I, yeah, hold on. And Kaboon, how can I forget Kaboon? And Tomoyo Asatani. That's like a top like eight, I know, I realize that. But there's so, so much of the artwork of this game is good. But anyway, that's my thoughts on that. I know we uh, kind of haven't played Heroes in like probably like an hour of streaming. 